Hi there. Uh, the video you're about to watch is just a demonstration. It's like a proof of concept to see if um, somebody who's got a CTrader account and a CTrader broker would like to use TradingView's charting package um, while at the same time submit orders to their CTrader broker. So the data feed will come from the broker and they'll be able to submit orders straight to the uh, broker's um, well, straight to the broker, really. So what I'm going to do now is quickly demonstrate um, what we've put together. Uh, it's just a free tool that you can download and use. Um, we know that, um, well, actually, before I start, continue talking. I'll open the, the charting tool, OK? So I'll just click on the little robot man there, and I'll type in trading view. So this is assuming that you've um, come to our website and you've actually downloaded the product and installed it onto CTrader. If you don't know how to install it, just go to our website, look under Knowledge Base, and it should tell you how to do it. OK, I'm going to start it now. And you'll just see a little welcome screen like this. Click continue. <clears throat> okay. So all we've done is create a CTrader um, add-on. And we've embedded the TradingView uh, widget onto that add-on and put a few controls on the right-hand side. Now, with this control, uh, sorry, with this widget that you're seeing, the data feed is coming from TradingView, um, but the actual information you're looking at the right hand side is coming from the broker so if you look at the trading platform it's fx pro c trader so at the top there it says uh, fx pro below the euro usd um, so we're both looking at euro usd on the one on the daily time frame so they should be very much similar um, so what i'm going to do now is just quickly show that you can uh, increase the size to anything you want to your screen size and it will expand um, you can resize it as well to anything you want okay and the whole idea is that you use trading views charting package which has got a lot of tools i'll just quickly show you Oops, so again, so it's got all of these little tools you've got to use there, drawing tools, plus all these uh, types of patterns that you can put on there. So if you have a look, there's a lot of information you can use for charting. So the charting is very good, and there are a lot of features you can put on there. And under the candlesticks, sorry, under the actual, oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. I need to bar style. So under bar style, you can use choose Renko, line break, haggy, point and figure, or range. Okay. So you've got different types of charting that you can use that you probably won't have on C Trader. So you might want to use this tool to um, for trade setups, and then um, when you actually go ahead to submit the order, you submit to your broker. Now the whole idea is that in the future, um, this is again this is just experimental proof of concept, but in the future you might want to. Um, you know, say open up a, a tool, an application, and it will say, do you want to use CTrader's charting or do you want to use TradingView's charting? But you're connected to the same um, CTrader broker or the same broker that you're using, which would be FX Pro, IC Markets, or whoever you're using. So what I'm going to quickly show you is just how we would use this tool. So I'm going to snap that one to there, and drag him back over there. Oops, no, I want it the other way around. Sorry about this. I want it this way around. So again, this is just a demonstration. Uh, oh, not going well today. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just quickly show you how it would work. So on here, we've just put in lot size. So lot size of 0.1, I think, which is like 10K on this account. Um, submit, submit buy, submit sell, close position. Now, the limitations for this tool are, actually, I'm going to expand it and tell you it first. The limitations for this tool are the fact that you can only um, use it on a demo account because it's just experimental. You can only submit one buy or one sell at, the, at any time. So you open the position and then you close the position. When you open the position, the position will not show on the chart. OK, so this again, like I said, you know, if we go ahead and um, there is interest from the market or the community to say that, yeah, we would like this sort of tool, then we would create a much better application that will integrate with the charting um, and actually put the trades on the chart. So it'll be a fully integrated uh, platform. Um, here it says the broker symbol spread. So this is the spread for FX Pro for Euro dollar. This is the price for the broker. You can see it's 11322 and here it's 113276. So it's slightly out. Um, I found that usually it's like 0 0.0001 or 2 out. It's quite accurate. This is just the, the data is coming from different feeds. So you will notice a bit of a discrepancy. Uh, here it's telling you the broker symbol volatility. So how volatile is this instrument right now? And you can change the theme to light or dark. So if you want a dark sort of view. Or a light view. Okay, pretty straightforward. If you're not used to trading view, um, it's got a lot of uh, tools you can add or remove indicators and stuff like that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do <clears throat> to give you a quick demonstration of um, opening a position. So if I just click submit buy, 
So but by position, obviously it's not shown on the chart on the left, that's a limitation, but it's showing on the CTrader platform that it's just submitted an order. So again, the whole idea is you use TradingView's charting tools. Um, you actually create a trade setup that's perfect for you. You enter the trade, but it will actually submit it with CTrader. Um, again, you can just close that position, but if you try to submit another buy, it will tell you you can't. It's one of the limitations we've put in there. And you can just close the position. Okay, so it's an example to how to use the system. Um, what I'll do now is show you, you've got here, vote this idea. If you click on this button, it will actually open up. I have to minimize that. It goes to here, we've just created a suggestion on CTrader to say that if you think this is a good idea, please vote it with the little thumb at the bottom there. Click on the thumb. You have to log in, obviously. Click on the thumb to say, yes, you'd vote it. You would like this to be, um, to be available and we will actually and if we get enough votes we will actually invest more time uh, doing the research contacting trading view and seeing if we can actually put this together so uh, uh, this is early stages um, just to see if there is a market for this really um, so what i'm going to do now is just open the tool back up there it is so the last thing i'm going to say is you've got powered by trading view you just click on the link then it will take you to trading view so this is a bit of a controversy really because trading view is a separate chart and package and c trader um they're both competitors i suppose but the fact is that if you can use a c trader broker while at the same time trading view charting then i think everyone's going to be happy okay that's it uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video but again, um, you would have watched this tool, uh, sorry, you would have watched this video before you started using the um, add-on tool that we've created. Just remember that it's an experimental tool just to see if you think it's a good idea. It's not actually a real-time trading tool that you can just start trading, even though you can. It'll only use it on demo accounts as well at this current time. Okay, thank you very much.